cinematographer is to have the knowledge of the art. Without any doubt, cinema today is a mixing of art and technology. Today, in this era, you also have to be a bit of a technician, and you have to know the equipment. And it's really important for DPs to understand the entire length of the image chain, from acquisition to exhibition. The camera is a tool that focuses and measures photons of light and records them as images. With a film camera, light enters through the lens and hits a frame of film behind the lens. The film is covered with an emulsion that contains grains of silver halide crystals. These crystals react chemically when light hits them, and the crystals change into silver metal when they are developed. A photographic image is formed on the film. There is something about the um, texture and the grain structure of, of film that I've, personally, I hold on to, and it's like a comforting thing to me. And it feels more tangible. The highlights open up and flip themselves and give a sort of textural quality. You still have some granularity in the image that keeps highlights living. It keeps blacks with a little bit more nuance and character in them. I like grit and grain and um, texture. It gives you a variety of different opportunities. The workflow on a film set basically means that you, you take thousand foot loads of film loaded into the magazines, and that enables you to shoot for roughly 10 plus minutes per roll of film. Cut. That's a cut. <laughs> Camera reload. Camera reload. And then it gives you a natural break in the action while someone pulls the magazine off the camera and puts a new magazine on. Then the film goes away to a film lab and is developed overnight and printed. And then the next day, you get to see dailies. There was a joy for many, many years for us to be, you know, the genies on set. You know, it's why we love dailies. We'd all go, we'd act, we'd light, we'd do what we do, we'd love what we did. And then everybody would wrap, and the next morning, it'd come back from the lab, and we went, wow, look what we got. Right. You know, it was magic. The director of photography was a magician. He was the only one who actually probably knew what was going to be on the screen next day. Uh, and this gave you a lot of authority and power. And there's a certain leap of faith that you take when you shoot film, and there's something really romantic about that. Getting your dailies back and everyone being really excited to see what you've got. But I don't like the betrayal of dailies. I don't like going in and seeing and getting, you know, swept up with a performance and then seeing you go out of focus on a 25-foot screen and knowing that there's no way to retrieve that. What I didn't like about film was that feeling midway through the day, end of the day, did we get anything today? I don't even remember, did we get? It didn't feel like we put the flag in it because you couldn't see. It's like painting with the lights off. But the DP would tell you, it's not, the lights aren't off, it's in my head. It's in his head, well that's great, but I'm operating the camera, I'm picking the lenses, I'm judging the performances. A digital camera does not use film. Instead, it has an electronic sensor or chip behind the lens. The sensor is made up of millions of tiny picture elements, or pixels for short. When light enters the camera, it hits the pixels and creates individual electronic charges. These charges are measured and converted into digital data that represent the image. Grains of film, and they're just constantly moving, you know. And so the result is that kind of fuzziness. Whereas with the pixel count, it's a very finite, accurate, exact thing. So we're going to do one action for Dolly and camera. I think, I think that worked last time. And action. With digital cameras and monitors, you are able to see exactly what you are recording on set as you are shooting. That's nice. Unlike film cameras, 
You don't have to wait a day to see what you've captured. They are no longer dailies. They are immediately's. You sit around the back of the set or in a tent somewhere, looking at this huge monitor and making adjustments from that, which I actually quite like because it means you're seeing the picture exactly as it is. And with the old film capture, it was overnight. And sometimes you'd go to bed and think, I wonder if I got that right, you know. You say, I think we need more backlight. And you said, don't worry, it'll look great in dailies. They know as well as anybody that you go to dailies, you say, I really think there should be more backlight in there. But if you do it on the set, you can just stand there and say, no, more backlight. OK, cut. And they do it. They say, OK, now that's exactly the way I want it, because that's exactly the way it's going to be in the movie theater. People speak about, thank God I can see what I'm getting now. I don't have to wait until tomorrow. I can see if it's in focus. I know what I'm getting. If you're watching a monitor on set and you feel that you're really seeing what you've got, I think you're fooling yourself. The audience is going to watch that film on a screen that is, you know, a thousand times bigger than that. You know, you're watching it on a large TV. Yes, you see what you're getting. It's right there. The problem for me is that I still think you need to see rushes later. I think in order to concentrate what the performance is or just the movement, and that's, I still think you need to see them at a special time. The process of 